Raven, Prime Earth. Raven is the daughter and herald of the demon Trigon and a member of the Teen Titans. History. The woman later known as Raven was born of the demon Trigon, a demonic entity who had conquered many worlds and fathered many sons, however this was his first and, so far, only daughter. Trigon murdered the women who birthed his sons, however he allowed his daughter's mother Arella to live, believing that his daughter needed to be raised by a human in order to help her reshape the underrealms in his image. Afraid of what Trigon had in store for their daughter, Raven's mother took her daughter and fled to the dimension of Azeroth, which was beyond Trigon's reach, where she named the child Rachel. Over time, the monks of that realm trained Rachel to control her powers and overcome her father's influence. When Trigon finally found her again, Rachel fled from Azeroth to Earth in order to protect her mother and teachers. Eventually, she was found by the immortal phantom stranger on Trigon's behalf. When she returned to Trigon's realm time itself flowed differently, and it was revealed that Trigon was impressed by her natural abilities, allowing her to have free will and shape her own destiny. He gave her a seat at his throne and renamed her Raven. Later, she broke free of her father's influence and became a member of the new Teen Titans alongside other young heroes. She served as a hero with distinction for many years. Return of Trigon Raven returned to Earth to interfere with the fight between Trigon and the Teen Titans. She recruited Beast Boy, who had been left for dead in the rubble of an unknown facility. There Raven used her empathy powers to mind-control Beast Boy, making him her thrall. With Beast Boy in tow, Raven teleported to the middle of a battle between the Teen Titans and the psychic villain Simon. Using Beast Boy, she was able to knock out Simon and cause his defeat. Meanwhile, Trigon's three sons, Belial, Ruskoff, and Shug, assaulted the Teen Titans in an attempt to take Raven back. Raven, Beast Boy, and the Titans defeated them, but Trigon himself appeared again and took control of the Titans save for Raven, Beast Boy, and Red Robin. When the manipulated titans attacked, Raven had Beast Boy distract them and Trigon long enough for Red Robin to cut through Trigon's eyes with his wings on his costume. Trigon, pulling out the wings from his eyes, complimented Red Robin before suddenly disappearing. Soon after, a woman and a group of suited men came through a portal, informing everyone that they would take Simon into custody and make the incident appear as if it had never happened. When questioned about the police officers Simon had killed, the woman revealed it had been a hallucination by Trigon, so therefore it had never happened. Raven and Beast Boy were re-accepted into the Teen Titans. While a part of the team Raven made things awkward for them by revealing all the relationships Red Robin had when under Trigon's control. Raven went into her room, leaving the awkward situation behind. There, she summoned her father, saying, Father, I am one of them. Your plan worked perfectly, leaving questions on what side she was really playing for. Meanwhile, Red Robin called Raven aside, telling her that if something happened to him, the team would look to her to lead them forever evil. When all of Earth's greatest heroes were gone and the Crime Syndicate of America had taken over the world, the Teen Titans attempted to challenge the Crime Syndicate. However, they were easily overpowered by Johnny Quick and Automica and were then flung into the time stream. While the Titans were constantly flung through time, Raven was sent a few thousand years back in time. There, she was challenged by Etrigan the Demon, who recognized her as Trigon's daughter and tried to kill her. Raven was saved by Wonder Girl, who suggested that the way to stop Raven's powers, since she was born and raised in a world between worlds, was to manipulate the energy within the time stream. Raven succeeded in anchoring the Titans with her soul self, teleporting them through time. The Titans arrived 20 years into the future, where Jonathan Lane Kent had massacred most of Earth's superheroes, leaving only a few, including Beast Boy, now calling himself Beast Man, and Rose Wilson. Connell and John battled, and Con triumphed. Khan was then sent elsewhere by an unknown power, and a severely injured John was swapped unknowingly as Superboy by Beast Boy and Rose Wilson. Trial of Kid Flash While traveling through Time Raven and the Titans arrived to the 30th century, where they found out that their teammate Kid Flash was actually a rebel leader and war criminal, named Bartor. It was during this time that Raven deduced that the Superboy with them was actually John, and she helped send him back to the present time so that he could find a cure for his deteriorating body condition. After leaving Kid Flash and Solstice in the future, Raven and the others returned to their original time where she discovered that her connection with Trigon had been severed. The Culling Following an attack by the villain Grimm, the Titans planned a final attack on Harvest's new colony. Raven was reluctant to join because of her past actions, but after Bunker told her that everybody deserved a second chance, Raven changed her mind. In the colony, the Teen Titans were surprised to find that everyone is returned to normal, and even the victims of the Culling had been restored to life. Raven played a crucial role by finding out Harvest's scheme to extract all the metagenes to create a massive DNA strand for his usage. Raven destroyed it using her soul self, leaving Harvest to finally be defeated. 
the White Carnival. After the Titans separated, Raven found out that her mother had a sister living in San Francisco. She decided to visit her aunt so that she could learn more about her mother's side of the family. Raven was surprised to discover that her aunt Alice and her family are dedicated Christians. During her stay, Raven attended Madison High School where she cast a spell on several students in order to have a group of friends and fit in. She soon came across one student that was seemingly under the control of a mysterious white orb which had begun to grow near a carnival. The orb fed on the souls of the young, and Raven did her best to try and stop it. After several attempts, she failed until her aunt and the citizens of San Francisco gave her the strength that she needed to defeat the orb and wipe everyone's memories of the event. Rebirth Some time after leaving the Teen Titans, Raven set out to learn more about her family and her father Trigon. During this time she lived in a museum until one day she found herself knocked unconscious. When Raven came to, she found herself in an unknown location alongside several other young superheroes including her former teammate Beast Boy, the new Kid Flash, and Starfire. The identity of her captor was revealed to be Robin who explained that he had kidnapped them in order to recruit them to his new Teen Titans team. He went on to explain that he needed each of their unique skills in order to take down his grandfather Ra's al Ghul and the League of Assassins. She is targeted by one called Plague. Daughter of Darkness Raven who is now living in San Francisco with her aunt Alice and her aunt's family and is attending Madison High School is once again faced with her father, Trigon, who is now trying to return to Earth using Raven as his gateway and wants to use Arella to breed an army of his children, meanwhile Baron Winters also gets involved while trying to preserve the balance between good and evil. Her father attacks Raven, trying to take control, while she deals with another one of Trigon's threats, two more attack and she also battles with a new faceless girl who she doesn't know. After that Raven continues to investigate the new threat, while Baron Winters watches from Wintersgate Manor where he predicts that Raven will die and that she must die in order to preserve the balance between good and evil. Afterwards Raven meets with the faceless girl once more, but this time the girl is killed by soldiers before Raven could find out what's going on, and she then briefly meets Baron Winters by entering Wintersgate Manor through the fireplace, but he then sends her to the past, more specifically in 1906, San Francisco in the middle of the Great Earthquake in order to escape her. Raven helps as many people as she can while she is stuck in the past, and she then manages to return to the present where she faces Baron Winters in Wintersgate Manor, she then reads Baron's mind and uncovers that the faceless girls are actually her sisters, she finds out that in each world Trigon conquered he tried to breed the perfect child, a warrior who would be his true heir, but instead the children either died in childbirth or survived and ended up being monsters instead of warriors. Baron then escapes Raven once more, and she returns to San Francisco and attends her friend, Terry's grandmother's funeral, when Arella approaches Raven. Later Raven, her mother and her aunt have an argument about whether Raven should go with her mother home or stay with aunt, the argument is interrupted when Raven's sisters attack. Raven and her mother manage to escape, but are soon captured and meanwhile Baron realizes that someone is taking over Wintersgate Manor but does not know who or what. As Raven and Arella try to escape two more attack and figure out what they want with them, Winters learns about the Shadow Riders, who he then suspects might be the next big threat. Meanwhile Raven and her mother aren't able to escape two more attack and the scientists whose goal is to find out what is so special about Arella that she was able to give birth to Raven, Trigon's one and only daughter of darkness so that he could have more children and eventually create an army of his children capable of destroying the universe. The moment of which Raven is supposed to die is getting closer, the gateway through which Trigon starts to come to Earth is opening, and just when Raven was almost dead, one of her sisters, Violet merges with Raven and gives the strength she needs to overcome Trigon and survive, in the end she and Trigon's other unsuccessful children help Raven beat Trigon once more, and so Raven and her mother return to San Francisco, while Baron Winters intends to create a new night force, by recruiting people with magical abilities, and continues to investigate the Shadow Riders. Infinite Frontier Raven, along with her teammates Nightwing, Changeling, Cyborg, Donna Troy and Starfire formed an academy in honor of Roy Harper to train new Titans. Raven and Beast Boy tried to help Billy Batson with his powers as they were malfunctioning. During a date with Gar, Raven had a vision of a possible future that worried her. In the academy Raven took Dane as her ward and taught him how to control his powers. She later went to the Underrealm to rescue Shazam and Dane from Naren after both kids went there to find the Rock of Eternity. She took Dane back to the Academy while Billy stayed to guard the Rock of Eternity. The homecoming party at the Academy saw the return of her friends Roy Harper and Garth to the Titans. When five students disappeared, the Titans found out that they were taken by Simon to create a new fearsome five team, but the villain was killed by Red X, who escaped along with Dane. When Dane began to fulfill his destiny of transforming into the demon Nevermore, Red X destroyed the Titans Academy building while trying to protect him. 
Unfortunately, both Gar and Cyborg were buried under the wreckage, leaving them in critical condition, just like what Raven saw in her vision. Despite saving Dane, Raven was distaught by how Gar and Vic had no chances at recovering, so she allowed two of her students, Cybro and Greg, to save the two by merging them. Due to their new condition, Gar believed that him and Raven couldn't continue their relationship with him as Cybeast. Nevertheless, Raven managed to cast a spell so that Gar and Victor would still be seen as two separate entities to everyone else despite the great strain on her powers that would take. Powers and Abilities Powers As the half-demon daughter of the interdimensional demon Trigon, Raven is very powerful and displayed a vast amount of abilities. It was noted by her father Trigon that she only uses a small potential of her power, and if she lets out her full inner demon, she may reach near-infinite power. Unique Physiology As the daughter of a demon, Raven has a host of unique abilities. Astral Projection Through the use of her soul self, Raven can project her consciousness for therapeutic purposes, to aid in her own meditation, or to help calm an agitated ally, or for offensive attacks, rendering her enemies unconscious. Soul Self Raven can manifest her soul self through astral projection. It normally takes the form of either her human shape or a giant raven. Darkness Manipulation Raven can generate darkness from her soul self and project it forward to attack her enemies. Energy Construct Creation Raven can create constructs out of darkness. Psychokinesis Using her soul self, Raven can telekinetically manipulate, arrange and alter matter and energy at the atomic level. Flight Raven can levitate off the ground and fly, without visible projection of her dark energy as is shown when she uses telekinesis. Chronokinesis, using her soul self in conjunction with her demonic abilities, she can force herself through the time stream and even bring passengers. Intangibility, using her dark powers and abilities, she melts into walls and floors, sometimes in the form of a giant black raven, which is the form her soul self usually takes on. Teleportation, raven can convert her physical body into her soul self and carry or teleport herself and others across vast distances. Empathy, raven can sense the feelings of others with no filter. She constantly feels all the emotions of others and must learn to control them or they will overwhelm her. Emotion negation, she can also use her empathic abilities to steal emotions from others, rendering them emotionally numb. Empathic healing, she can absorb the pain of others into her own body in order to rapidly heal others from any physical injuries, as well as heal herself by going into a trance of emotional calm. Empathic precognition, she can receive precognitive flashes of the future when exposed to extreme emotion. Psychic Link By using her empathic-based powers, Raven can enter another person's mind allowing her to see, feel, and hear what they encounter. Psionics Raven is able to read thoughts, project and broadcast her own thoughts, as well as scan and alter the memories of others. Magic Due to her demonic and mystical heritage, Raven can generate and control magical and mystical forces at will. She has stated that she is vastly more powerful than even a demon overlord like Naren can ever hope to be, which was proved soon after as the demon himself quickly surrendered when faced with the breath of her power. Dimensional Travel Raven can travel to other planes of existence, like Hell. Force Field Raven can generate a powerful force field capable of easily resisting even attacks from the likes of Naren. Electrokinesis She can control electricity. Pyrokinesis She can control and project fire. Eldritch Blast, she can unleash magic blasts. Size Alteration, Raven can grow to gigantic size. Abilities. Deception. Occultism. Paraphernalia. Transportation. Teleportation. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye-bye.